everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame, thrifting, and a good DIY project. Today I am making over my little entryway nook and I'm going to be doing a washi tape wall DIY. It's kind of gonna give it the look of a wallpaper. I was really inspired on Instagram by this girl I follow, Northwood Supply. She owns her own shop and she did a washi tape wall for her nursery. And when I saw it, I loved the color and I was like, I want to do that. And so that is what I'm going to do. I'll insert a photo of that right here. Before I jump into anything, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. Let's not waste any more time and let's jump right on into this thing. I have always felt really stuck with my entryway. It's kind of an odd space. Two of our bulkheads, is that what they're called, in our basement meet. So it's really, it's really short little nook. It has these two floating shelves that were already built in when we got the place. And it's just kind of a little, funny spot and I've really struggled to decorate it so when I saw this washi tape wall I felt like it was the perfect thing to kind of decorate this area just this little nook without having to make it feel too busy I just thought this was the perfect little area to do this quick makeover let me show you guys what my entryway looked like before Let's get to cleaning the space and starting this DIY. This is the pack of washi tape I picked up. I actually could not find just a single solid color like sold on its own. I checked online and you know, I'm sure they're somewhere, but I just like had this idea to do this project and I wanted to do it. So I found this and I bought two packs and I'm gonna use this little kind of orangey color. I got this from Michaels and I got two of them and I used a 30% off coupon and I got them both, like total it was $23. So that's not too bad. So I've come up with a measuring system. It's not exact science, but I think that it'll get you know, roughly the same size and that's the goal. They are just shy of three inches each, so around like 2.75 inches. I don't know how many centimeters that is, friends, but I'm sure you can do a quick Google search and find out what 2.75 inches in centimeters is. What I'm doing is I just placed a book up here and I'm just like putting a little piece of tape on the book, roughly going about the length of my shelf and then just cutting it. Once I have a few, I can uh, start putting them on the wall. My plan, as you saw in that photo, is to do like a stripe, one up here, one over here, and like keep that pattern kind of going. I'm wondering if I should, maybe I'll get my full lines like started so that I can just kind of work off of them. Also, I'm totally just gonna eyeball this, so uh, yeah. At least we know that washi tape comes off of walls really easily. Now that I completed these initial layers, I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to just continue building off of this.
do you guys remember what it looked like before? Here is my entryway after. I did use both rolls of washi tape that I had, so if you guys are gonna do a bigger space, you'll definitely need even more washi tape. I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.